What's up, YouTube? This is my 1DX Stamden build. Let's get into it. I got 35k health, 22k Stam, 18k Mag, 1100 Stam Recovery, 700 Mag Recovery. Health Recovery doesn't matter. I got 39 points into health. 25 into stam. I'm running sugar skulls, serpents, serpent stone, and vampire stage three. So then I'll buff up for you guys. Show you what I'll show you what I'm working with. 35k without minor toughness. So now I'm sitting at 38k. 18k, 22k hasn't changed. See, there's recovery damage 51, almost 30k resistance on the front bar, 20, almost 27% expel crit back bar with the bigger 33. So now let's get in the slaughterables. I run Sugar Skulls, like I said, you can run this too. There's options. Um, Crown Store Pots, but there's the Tech Pots, Tripods, Movability Pots, pretty much all I run. I really don't use this very often, only when somebody uses it on me, or if I'm gonna try to go burst like a whole group, which that's kind of hard to do nowadays. So first set I'm running is, truth you know the five piece gives you all that extra damage it's well worth it I like it I uh, I also run a tried um, what's it called shattered fate works good briar heart even though it's an old set works great because you know you only have a five second downtime but right now this is what I was using because it's like almost like what almost 650 weapon damage just for making somebody off balance for a couple seconds and then wretched vitality i just think it's worth with all the magic abilities you have to run nowadays that extra recovery just makes a big difference and i run battle orgs just for all the extra damage and pen i feel pretty tanky some people tell me i'm tanky but some days i don't feel like it some there's some days i don't feel like i hit hard either so i just try to be honest truth you know traits doesn't matter like i said the sturdy it's pretty good because you have to block a little bit more you really don't have to uh, dodge roll as much on a warden it feels like because all the healing power you get um i'm running i think six heavy and one medium but it's just because i have other gear on my other warden so it has all like the the medium pieces that i usually use but i recommend doing all triglyphs but i'm not really worried about it i'm not mr mid max anymore then truth i did i give all infused weapon damage you can have one bloodthirsty if you want or you can have speed if you want it's all the same it's all on how you preference to play the game and then mark and ring i could run death dealers but i don't have it but i don't really think that you need 40k health honestly even 38k is too much for me I just run it because why not? I, I, I X a lot, so I'm always by myself. So sometimes maybe that extra 8K will help out a lot. But, and then get into the skills. Lotus fan for the crit helps out a lot. Execute. You know, what can I say about it? It's execute. You need it to kill people with the way, you know, burning dizzy swing. Shulks, Deep Fissure, awesome, it's hard to time. I'm still new to Warden too, so. But if you can land this, it's pretty good. Dizzy Swing, that's how you get the off balance prop. Bird of Prey, I like it. Yeah, you don't have to run this in Snare Removal. Dawnbreaker, you could also run Permafrost. You could run um, Bonk, like E-Man likes to say. 
if you have it. I mean, you could if you wanted to. I don't, but I have it on my other warden. And then on the back bar, Ice Fortress activates the uh, Wretched Vitality. Blue Betty for the Brutality, Sorcery, Trellis. It's a flex spot. You really don't need it. You have enough healing from Polder Wind and Vigor. Because the way, even if you take, like I said, um, I don't think you really need the 40k health warden to survive. I've done, I've played with 35k on the warden, you know, with major toughness or minor toughness. I've hit about 35k and I've still done fine with the low polar wind. I have it pretty much set up like now to where these two are pretty much, I can heal pretty much through most of the damage and still go on the offense part of it. So that's the only good thing. But 38k, it's kind of the sweet spot, but you don't need it. So don't let anybody tell you any different. And then shield spell wall, you gotta do it for the, sometimes you just need a good defensive vault. Healing thicket's also really good. Permafrost too. Um, but I wanted to um, give you a couple of different, like I said, different sets if you wanted to. Uh, I'll just pull them up for you, that way everybody can. So if you don't like Truth, Essence Thief works perfectly fine. Maul, you can run this dual wield if you want. I'm not a dual wield player. I like the old play style, Dizzy Swing, Execute, Dawnbreaker. That's what I like. Um, and Briarheart. Also really good. I mean, it transfers to both bars. It's got a five second downtime. Works out good. <laughs> Um, you could run um, Orders Wrath if you wanted to, Maul, or you could try a great uh, a battle axe, great sword, whatever you want. It's all preference, but I think Shattered Fate is also just really, really good, just for pure damage, and it's always up, but it doesn't make your healing any better, so. It's all in preference, but on Xbox, because that's originally where I'm from, I do have Titanborn and I do have Moon Hunter, and both of those sets work very well. But I think Moon Hunter front and bar is probably the best bet right now, just because of all the damage and you can kind of time it with the poisons. But um, I appreciate it if you watch the video this long, and any questions, I love to you know answer them down in the comments and uh all in all ggs i hope everybody has a good rest of their day and i hope you enjoyed the build like comment and subscribe if you can if not it's all all good